All right, Marcus, here is a voice note. This is meant to be a bit of a retrospective on the Carbon X Prize over the last five years. Now, we launched the prize in September 2015 in New York. It was basically my second or third week on the job when I found myself at the launch event. The first thing I noticed was that no one understood what this topic was. What do you mean you can convert CO2 into materials and products? What are you talking about? And why is X Prize focused on this? Five years later, no one asks those questions. Now they ask, how can we use this? How do we scale it? How do we take it forward? What's the best fit for these carbon tech technologies? So it's been amazing to see that progress. I have to say, we really had no idea if this prize would work. Will people want to judge it? Will anyone enter the prize? Will the technologies work? Will these test centers get built? These teams, they entered out of everywhere and nowhere, joined the competition and now made it all the way to the finals to see their businesses and their efforts flourish and grow and also to see their technologies actually come to life has just been really cool. Now, each team has really achieved a major milestone. Some have new technologies that are in the market already. Others have secured a major investment or a major partnership, or maybe just a major technical milestone at building their system at the largest scale they ever had. I'm just incredibly proud. I'm also really excited to see how we can take it forward to the world to inspire more people to do more great stuff and uh, what these companies can continue to do even after the prize. So it's a really cool moment as I think back on the first five years of this prize as we come in the final turn heading towards the end. Thank you.